welcome everyone uh, to the next episode of Dancing with the Bear. Uh, we're going to be talking specifically, if you watch my other two classes, uh, about uh, the entire timeline. Uh, it really starts with the two set of suites, and that is Estampe and its partner, the Salt River. Now, some of the interesting things about this is this is really when the first series of dances are, I want to say recorded, but they're really identified. Before this, it was mostly um, choral or uh, carol dances or uh, singing, everything like that. The, the partner to it was Moorish. The Moorish dances were essentially dances that were dance by yourselves, or you were dance in a group with other people, but you weren't dancing with them. You're just all dancing as a group. Uh, carol or choral dancing was essentially like Christmas carols and stuff like that, where you actually dance as a group, but you could also partner up, you did stuff together, um, but there was no real specific things. You can think about it more like the maypole dances that is done, that's pretty much how it goes. So the first set of dances, like I said, is the estampe and the sultra. So let's talk about estampe. There is not much. <laughs> okay. It's like, well, then why are you teaching it? Because I like to teach in a series. So this is the first set of sweet dances. So we're going to talk about them and show how they progress into other sets other suites, and, and how some of those dance steps were used and how they transferred, like I said before, from time, music, uh, geographical location, everything like that. So um, real quickly again, I'm doing a format where it's both Zoom and uh, Facebook Live. So if you want to come on either one, that's great. If you come on Zoom and you have a question, I'll try and answer it. Uh, if you want to ask a question specifically on Facebook Live in the comment section, please let me know and I'll try and answer it at that point. So, it's down me. Like I said, there's really not that much information about it. There is such little information, but it is indicating that there is enough information to say that there was. But specifically the dance steps, there is nothing in concrete about it. It is kind of so vague that it encompasses almost poetry, music, and dance. So it wasn't just one type of thing, one type of dance steps. It was the culmination of the entire system. Now, why do they say a stomp? Well, it means to stamp or to stomp. Okay. So how do we know that it was a dance? There is some documentation stating that there was a cumulative effort that was put into place. So they would uh, play a certain type of music that was specifically called estampe that was used during dancing. The types of dances there's not documentation for. There was. Uh, there is a few slight uh, information blurbs pertaining to a wedding in Germany in the 11th century. Uh, and at that point, it was uh, the writer had classified it as a dance between the bride and the groom or a dance between a falcon and a swallow. So obviously, there was some type of dancing going on. Sorry, checking out a few things. Making sure if anyone's asking a question, I can't see the screen this far away. So, 
pretty much what they're indicating right here is that there was, this is what's known as low and high. So kind of like a low movement, low speed, high movement steps, much faster. So if there was a stomp in place or a stamp, obviously there was some type of movement and preferably from what I can gather would be a, a movement where you just put your foot and stop. And then you do something and then stop. Now that would really coincide with the musical aspect why they say it was an estampe type music. Because if the music had a percussion aspect to it, it would be something like that. So therefore people would actually know how to dance pertaining to the music. That's why estampe is more of an all encompassing type of dance concept because there's no specific dances, but there's a lot of referral to how Poetry, i.e., uh, singing, words, the music, and dancing all encompassed together. So, so, this is a very, I want, it's not a new field, but it's a one that's not really has a lot of documentation. So, if someone wants to go and really focus in on some aspect, you can do a deep dive in the type of estampe dances. And if you can find some great documentation, you would be the stellar person for everything that is a SOP. And like I said, even though there's not a lot of information, I want to encompass the importance of how all this comes into play, how people look at it, how they view it, how it was done. So this is really the first set. Now, the second step set is the salt roll. Now, in this, there's actually uh, more documentation for taking two footwork. And strangely enough, it is just four things. Step, step, step. And here, it kind of goes into multiple aspects. It can be a hop. It can be a skip. It can be a jump. And it can be a kick. So you can do step, 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 hop. You can do a step, 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 kick. You can do a kick forward, you can do a kick to the side. Whenever it's a kick, I call this the kicking cast dance. So you're out there, you're like step, 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 kick, kick, kick. I'm getting all these cats out of my room. I hate this, too many cats. Four steps. And the aspect on where the hop or the jump or the skip or whatever you want is in place in here, there's no doubt. So you can have it, step, hop, step, step, you can do step, step, kick, step. There's really not a huge uh, separation. It mainly depends on the dance you want to do and how you want to play. You can actually have, now bear with me on this, say you have four people. First couple does a and we're just going to use hop for everything. First couple does hop on the first one, second does skip, third does skip, fourth does skip. First couple then does correction, step, not skip, sorry. So hop, first couple does hop, then step, step, step. The next one does a step, next group does a hop, next one does a step, next one does a step. Then step, step, hop, step, 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 hop. Okay, that can be a variance of the dance because there is no documentation that says this didn't happen. Now, there's two different ways that you can 
put these into density. You can look at it, and I'm going to erase this over here to give me no room. Okay, and we're going to use red. I'm going to use English country dance and Italian. Use three also ITA. So you're going to have certain dances that's going to have what's known as a saltarella step. Okay, the saltarella step is step, step, step in one of these four. In normal dance, it's going to be in what we are used to, it's always going to be step, 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 and then something else. And that's fine. That's a good baseline. And that is usually always going to be in the Italian dance. Now, two of the specific one is, uh, I'm going to spell this wrong, Elsia and Amelo. So, excuse me if I'm spelling it bad, sorry. Elsia. I know that's wrong. Please forgive me. So, let's see. Like I said, I'm going to jump in back and forth between two of them. So, I want to make sure that everything's good, going well. So, for the Italian, when you start doing Josia and Anello, it actually says in the uh, Step by step, do eight or four cultural steps. So that means you go step, 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 hop, or step, 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 kick, whatever you want to do pertaining to the flourishes that you want to have. Now, for the English country dances, uh, there is actually a dance called Cultural. That one is more of a step together, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, or you can do step, hop, step, hop. Depends on how you want to dance it, the area that you're dancing in, what you can do. And usually, like I said, one of the things that you're always going to start with is your, is your left leg. Okay. Now, in Saltarello steps, though, some of the dances you alternate. So you might do, you might start with the right or the left. Okay, depends upon the actual dance. So for the actual Saltarello dance, one person will start with the right and the other one will start with their left. That is normally how it's done because that's how they've created the dance. I've also seen it where everyone still starts with their left, and at which point everyone is kicking or hopping in the same direction. Where if they alternate, they're actually kicking, one person be kicking to the left, one person be kicking to the right, so they're kicking towards each other, and then the next one they're kicking away from each other. It's a different variant, and that's fine. It's a very easy way to do it. So, like I said, um, some of the other things that you can do for the English country is yeah, horse bronze. Horse bronze, you can use a kick, a hop, or whatever in part of the dance. Don't have to, but you can. Ah, oh my God. I didn't think I was on the video. Oh. You're unmuted. <laughs> so for the horse bronzel, you can just do uh, a step. And then during it, there's uh, one of the steps on it 
is specifically where you go and you do what's known as a paw. Okay. And a paw is where you go right foot, right foot, or left foot, left foot. So you're kind of like pawing the ground and you go one, two. Bring the camera down. You go one, two. And then you do step, step, and then you turn and do the same. But on that, you can also go step, 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 kick, or step, hop, and turn a single. That is where you can add specifically the saltarello step into that one. Okay, you can also do it in Sullinger's round. Same exact thing, except uh, instead of doing it, because when you do the horse bronzel, you actually face your, your, your partner and you do it. The other one, you actually do it in a circle with your holy hands, and you can do the same thing, step, step, hip, or hop. So, write that down, Sullinger's round. So, and of course, this one is in a circle. This one's in a circle, but this one is mostly done in a line. So there's no specific aspects for the English country, because like I said, you can either do it in a line, you can do it in a circle, you can do your left foot or right foot, that type of thing. But when you get to the English country, it usually becomes a lot more stark. So you're pretty much always going to start with your left. Okay. Um, not a lot of variance, like I said, or when it says do a saltarella step, it's usually always going to be a step, 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 and then whatever the fourth iteration. So English country has a lot more variation, Italian is a lot more strict. Uh, let me see. These right here is pretty much the basics on this type of suite. There's not a lot, as with everything, like I said, when we do the next set of dances, uh, set suite of dances next week, we're going to add a little bit more. So starting from the last dance class that I had, which I said, these are the most popular dance moves. Then you start adding the specific things. So. Now that we've got this and you understand that this is a saltarella step, it's used pretty common in a lot of Italian dances, but there's a lot of variation in English country because as we progress in time and more dance steps, we take what we learned before and we change it, we adapt it. Instead of having it at the beginning, we might have it in the middle. Like I said, for selling for horse bronzel and selling the ground, we start our normal uh, progression, but then we add it into the middle of the dance. So, and like I said here too, most of it is usually going to be circular because this all progressed from choral dances or Moorish dancing, which mostly was done in a circle sometimes in a line. So mostly circle dances again, line. When we start talking about the next set of suites, we're gonna start talking where they're still in circles, but it's mainly because of where their geographical location is. Then when they start changing the dances, then they're like, okay, we're gonna add, add more line dances, or we're gonna start putting a few aspects of square dances in. So as you see, the progression is, before this was, all circle dances. Now we're getting to the point where we're going to, where we're going mostly circle, starting to see some lines. Then as we progress to the next set of suites and definitely the next set of suites after that, it's gonna be more line than circle, okay? And then we're gonna start progressing into square formations. That's the progression and that's why I'm teaching these classes. I want you guys to understand how it works how the progression is. And hopefully at this point you're like, oh, I know that. That's a saltarella step because 
it's very simple, but since it's always done early on in the same way, obviously it's in the Italian category. So you now can go from one point and you can re relate to the end point on how these dances are, how they progressed, and even where they're at. Okay, we're gonna be doing this dance and we're gonna be doing eight sopralo steps, then we're gonna be doing this, this, oh, so it's an Italian dance, got it. There you go. That's the point about all this is to understand how it is, but then, as I always say towards the end, this is just the basic stuff. This is just the general information. It's not hard, it's not strict. Okay, the Italian might be a little bit more because they were a little bit more detailed on it. But I think a dance where everyone alternates would be awesome. And I'm gonna be looking at creating a dance like that. So, but if you wanna do a dance and you're like, oh man, the Saltarella step, what is it? Um, am I supposed to hop on the first one or the second one or second and fourth? It doesn't matter. You do the dance that you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna do it like this because I'm the only one that's doing twice as many hops as everyone. You're not wrong. There's no one that says, that is totally wrong. No, prove to me it's not. Because if you can do it and it looks great, someone else is gonna go, I like that move better. Then all of a sudden you've created something that has improved the entire dancing community. So, like I said, since there's not a lot of information about this, this is pretty much where I'm going to end because this is pretty much the majority of the information. So, and I said, like again, a quick recap. I know I say some things over and over, and I do it because I'm trying to reinforce the key important aspects. Estampe, not a lot of information, but it was more of a combined aspects between uh, music, literature, and dance. Saltarello started to become more of an energetic and structured dance with a few basic set steps, but in no particular order. They went from starting mostly in circles to encompassing a few line dance elements. Also, we're starting to get a little bit of a structure between, okay, you can do it with the right or the left pertaining to the dance, but later on, almost everything went straight left until we get later on to some of the other specialty dances. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here and I want some people to ask me some questions real quick. Oh, sorry, what's ever in red, I can't read. So sorry about that. You know what? Thank you for telling me that. I am going to change this real quick. How's the green? Is that any better? If not, I'll just stick with the blue for the entire time. All right, so we got the uh, English country dance, Italian, Chilicia, uh, uh, Noah. Like I said, please forgive me. Ah, darn green, not much better. Okay. All blue it is. That is fine with me. I'm glad you guys are telling me this, and I'm glad I'm doing it this way so you guys can give me instant feedback. They're open to spell. Delicia. Wrong. And then we have
which is a line dance, a circle dance is going to be uh, horse plaza and Salinger's went out. Is that better? All right, Sid, I see that you're still on. Do you have any questions? You can unmute this time. It's all good. Thanks. I don't have any questions currently. Um, do you understand what I was saying about how a Salterella step works? A little bit. I also missed the first half of the entire thing, so. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I just popped in and we got off work because I was like, ooh, I should do the thing. Um, essentially, what I was saying, the Saltarello step is a dance of four steps. And that's going to be a step, a step, a step. And then you, it's either going to be a hop, a skip, a jump, or like a kick. Yeah. I do some of the kicks, and I usually, like I say, I'm kicking cats. Because it's like, get out of here, get, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> or you have a whole bunch of room full of stuffed animals, you're just trying to keep the stuffed animals because you're like, oh, why does my girlfriend have all these stuffed animals all over the place? And I was saying that you can put these in any order. So you can do a hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step. Well, actually, you can even do like uh, a step, hop, step, hop, even. There's nothing that says you can't. It's just the fact that it's essentially going to be a step. All right, it's four moves, step, and a variance of any of these. And okay. these are much more specifically, when it says specifically step, 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 hop, or skip, or jump, you're really going to be focusing mainly on the Italian dance, because that is how they specifically have their dance. So it's always going to be a step, 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 you know, whatever. So the times are a lot more strict in the format. But the Saltarello, like I said, you got, um, when you look at the variation of the word, it really comes to either French or Italian. So they use the same majority of the steps in most of England. It was just how they used it and how it progressed after that. Cool. Anyone else have any questions? Laura, Ellie? I can always see that people are on, but I don't know specifically who is always watching. But yeah, like I said, the um, these are the ones that I'm uh, the first set of sweet dances. So talk about this, and then, like I said, next week we'll go on to uh, the the base dances, and then Pavons after that, and then the Almonds after that, and it's just going to be a pr progression. So. That's why there's not a lot of information because it's really early, not a lot of documentation, and a lot of basic dances, dance steps. Huh. Ellie says uh, she had no questions. Let's see. Anyone else that is curious about anything that I said? Like I said, uh, this isn't a lot, and so this is just going to be a very short one. But I hope some of this gives you a better understanding. Or, hey, we're going to be doing uh, the horse bronzel. Okay, horse bronzel. It's going to be a circular dance partner, and we're going to be 
do it since the bronze will be left and right, and we're gonna have some type of saltarello aspects to it. Okay, I think I know, I think I remember completely how this dance goes. So I'm trying to make it easy for everyone. How's my uh, uh, vocal capability? Is it kind of garbled or is it pretty clear? Does it have like a echoing effect or anything like that? So it's a little bit garbly, but I think that might be because you're doing Zoom and Facebook Live at the same time. It's, it's possible. I know that when I was just doing Facebook Live straight, it was better, but then I also put in a different uh, microphone. I'm not using that microphone. So. And the room, of course, is echoes a bit. So. Ah, yeah. Great, great phone. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, if no one has any questions, uh, that'll be the end for this video for today. Like I said, next week, uh, I'll be doing uh, two more videos. Probably on Wednesday again, I'll be doing another cooking video and we'll be doing pasta this time. And then next Friday, try and do the next set of dancing videos. So as with everything, always enjoy you guys showing up. Keep on giving me questions, giving me ideas. If you want to do a theme aspect, please let me know. And as always, thank you for showing up. Thank you for teaching. See you later. Cool.